Someone asked today about how you can add inserts without having to go to the mixing window. So normally if he had to insert a plugin, he would go to the mixer and then find the track he was looking for and click on the insert point and insert whatever plugin he wanted to use. But say when you're in the tracks overview or the sequence editor or drum editor, MIDI editor, what do you do? So if, let's go here to the tracks overview. So what you see up here is I have this little mixing window and this is actually my insert for it. I'm selecting the master. You can see the name of the track showing up here. Change to next one. Go back to master. And where it says A, that's actually insert A of this channel. So I can click on that one and say insert an analog delay. Now you see it says analog delay there. And these up and down errors will select, if I go down, it'll select the B insert. So on the B insert, let's put another filter on there. So you see, we can go back to the analog delay and here to B, and we can go further down depending on how many inserts we have set. Here we can select our fold down. Here we have our levels and the level meter. Same thing goes for the sequence editor. You see you have it up here. Here on this track, the new vocal, we have UA. Go up, nothing on D. On A we have the Masterworks EQ. If we go down, dynamics on the B insert and so on and so forth. So this is an easy way for you if you're looking for this track and we want to find that insert that's here without having to go to the mixing board. So I can simply go up here, click here, and I get the insert that's being put on insert B. I can go up what's on insert A, there's proverb. So I can quickly go to my inserts here, or I could also, of course, go through my Windows overview. So there's so many ways that you can get to these things. Now, if that doesn't show in your DP, we need to go to our preferences. And what we can do here in this blank area up here, you can right click and it'll get to open information bar preferences. Open the preferences. And here, let's move over here. So right now we are in the sequence editor. And what needs to be checked on here is the mixer. So if I turn this off, you'll see this disappears. So what I'm selecting right now that the mixer is on in sequence editor, tracks overview, media editor, drum editor, notation editor, uh, not on my quick scribe editor, but I can turn it on so I have it available there as well. Over here, that's the track information where I can select uh, the output, uh, which take I'm playing and so on and so forth. And then further, when I'm here, if I am put my cursor on top of this little mixer, and right click, I can even configure this mixer section here saying, oh, I actually want to see my sense there as well. So now I'm adding, adding sense to this mixing strip. So I can take the sense out, say I didn't want to see the meters, uh, say I didn't want to see my pan. So you can configure what you're seeing there and what's cool, you might even want to see the setting, the uh, numerical readout of your fader setting. And we can go back to preferences there if we wanted to do that as well. So we will close this and now we have the panning. And here is again, this is our insert A with the panning for the insert 
we can mute it or go uh, pre or post fader. And I got to this by hovering over this channel strip and right click on it. And I can either, as you see here, I can also open the channel strip. But we have everything up here, so I don't need to have that channel strip on the side. And everything here, you can do automation rights and, and all that kind of good stuff. And the way you get to it again, we here in this gray area, you can right click on it. And we'll simply open preferences here and add it to the windows where you want it.